Is this Hecker? Yes. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? What a show you put on last night, Johnny. Hey, that was fun. That was a fun one, man. I was glad, glad you were there. I was watching you warm up, and by the way, big fan of the way you warm up. I like what you do. You practice every kick pre-getting your uniform on, pre-getting your pads on. I used to do the exact same thing. I never understood people that didn't, by the way. So watching you warm up was a lot of fun. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, it's, it's good to know that one of the all-time greats i'm copying his, his stuff so oh, i appreciate the f- that Pat. shut the fuck up johnny <laughs> johnny <laughs> okay let's talk about it minute and two seconds left do it up three ball is on your own 32 yard line people are touting it the greatest regular season football game in history you're in the middle of it you know it's a real slobber knocker field position's going to be huge patrick mahomes tyreek hill on the other side of the field tyreek hill on the field waiting to return and you let off a piss missile for the ages a game-winning punt last night 68 yarder did you know it was happening what was the plan going into it and when it left your foot how great to that feel <laughs> yeah yeah the, the plan was just to uh man just just rely on our cover guys you know if i could hit a ball i was i was hoping to maybe get him to let it go and you know hope for a, just a, a big ball touchback but um you know he's he's a guy that really doesn't like to to let a return opportunity go over his head so he's gonna go back there and take the ball and, and he's gonna run his ass off to the field so you know the deal was just you know, hit it, hit it, get it left, and uh, you know, hopefully he's he's trying to come up that sideline, or or if not, and they planned it to go to the field, and we just gotta get there before he does, because that guy can freaking fly. He's a nightmare for the brand. Absolutely, he's. I think he called him a for the brand terrorist, and I completely agree. <laughs> <laughs> I was screaming that on the sideline before the game. I I was getting looks, Johnny, from I was screaming terrorist in the middle of a stadium. I didn't even think about it. Uh, yeah, maybe not the best place to scream terrorist, but uh, you know, if people knew the context, they'd totally agree with you. He's so talented, he's so fast. That game last night was so incredible. Going into it, you guys knew that it was going to be a big one. I assume all week, McVeigh, were you guys hyping this up? I, now, listen, I know everybody says it's just another game, but having a brain right. and being a human, you guys had to know that this game being Monday Night Football in Los Angeles against a team that is everybody's touting could potentially be your Super Bowl opponent at one point if we can get by the saints and the patriots obviously and all that you guys had to know that this was going to be a big game and we're ready for it yeah absolutely i mean two nine and one teams you know the the top two dogs in the nfl scoring squaring off um man in prime time there's nothing like it and uh you know to have it in la was huge um you know after it was you know supposed to be in mexico that kind of sucked we didn't get to kind of experience that that situation and, you know, as you know, the elevation there for the brand would have been huge. Oh, uh, my God. You would have had a monster. That 68-yarder might have won out of the – you might have hit the state. You might have hit the stands. <laughs> it would have been fun. You know, but we, <laughs> we went and got to, got to practice up in, uh, in the elevation at Air Force Academy during the week. And, um, you know, we were preparing for it. And then, you know, the, the location got changed on us kind of last minute. But it was a deal where, um, man, it was it – was, you know, we, we preached it as just another game, and, and as we just had to take care of what we can take care of, and um, playing our best game will be enough, and that's what Coach kind of told us all week, and not to make too much of it, but um, just another game. But, you know, definitely you look at the records, you see the playmakers on both sides of the, of the field, and, man, it was it lived up to the hype, and then some. That was one of the craziest games I've ever been a part of, you know, as far as just back and forth, huge play after huge play, twists and turns, and, um, you know, I think America – you know, got their got their money's worth last night for sure. Hell yeah, it was one of the best games I've ever seen in my entire <laughs> life. In my the it was all three phases too, which was interesting to me because that high scoring a game you would normally assume that the defense did nothing. There were strip sacks and pick, there was a lot going on on defense. And then you right. guys, you and Colquitt were putting on a show special. It was a great football game. It was like the epitome of what football should be. It was magical. Right. Yeah, I think. I think with the way the rules are moving in the in the league, you know, protecting offenses and, and going for big points, that's those are the kind of games they're trying to put out there. <clears throat> How many different punts do you have? You have that weird punt back to the left I never seen before. How many how many punts do I have? I don't know. 
You have that weird Three, punt. Four. You you know which one I'm talking about. You you have a weird punt back to the left where you 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 turn it over somehow. You you act like you're aiming right, and then you come across your body because you're like six foot fucking ten, and you <laughs> hit this ball back to the left. How how does that even come? Like how does that even become something that you you think? Yeah, I should do that. <laughs> you know what's crazy is. Uh I used to practice that punt with, with Ryan Allen in college. Um, that was something that we would do just kind of messing around. Um, you know, we'd, we'd call him like a rocket or like a missile. You just try, we would, we would hit it kind of as low and as far as we could um, just to try and get it on the ground before the return could get to it. And then it's kind of, um, you know, over the last couple of years, just working on it, um, you know, showing right. You know, I, I was hitting a pretty consistent right ball, so I was getting returners kind of favoring over towards the right hash, right numbers. And there was just so much field over there. And then once I started working on it, if I could spiral it, that thing was going. So um, yeah, you know, it's, it's a fun change I'd up for say. me. And, you know, it definitely keeps the returners guessing. Hey, Tyree Kill was catching your punts in warm-ups. How do you feel about that? Is that normal? <laughs> it was, uh, no, I, I didn't like that very much. You know, the one of them, he came up, and then I, I hit that the show right, and then I hit the left ball on him. And, uh of course, they had another returner just standing over there, so he caught it. <laughs> Trying to keep it away from one guy, I, to another guy. It was. I was watching was that. Though. I was wondering why you're. So people don't know this. I was. Um, I was explaining to people on the sideline. There's local guys that catch punts. They're equipment managers. They're they're local guys that come in just for the weekends. They work the games. They're ball boys. And then there's yep. guys that catch punts every weekend, right? Every single weekend, there's guys mm-hmm. that catch punts in every city. So, like, I know all of the guys that catch the punts in Houston, Nashville. Mm-hmm. They're, they're the same group of guys. They come in and catch punts on the weekends. Your guy was just right. your guy was just letting them do it, too. It wasn't like your guy was fighting for it at all. He was just – because you were showing all these different punts, and it's like – if you're in a batter's box in baseball and you get to sit there and watch a curveball first and then, okay, the curveball gets to come again, that's exactly what it's like because we're trying to hit balls that are trying to make that returner uncomfortable so that he can't get a good run on it right. or a good read on it. And he was just catching them in warm-ups, and I was like, this is not normal. I don't know if Johnny Hecker's like a super nice guy, but this, this is not how it normally fucking works. I was very, I was very confused by it. Yeah, I, I thought about getting on our our guy Evan. Um, but he's he's a good dude, and I you know who who cares? It's pregame, you know. Uh, it's it's not a deal where I'm I'm that scared of Tyreek Hill. You know, it's a deal where we you should be really Johnny <laughs> Johnny a returner. Johnny, I think you should be that guy. is insane. Yeah, I know, I know we should be, but it, it's just the kind of confidence I have in our guys, man. It's I you know we that. we work our I tails off, that. and I think we have the best special teams coach in the NFL. Um, you know, a guy that just gets us ready week in and week out. And, um, you know, he's going to have to catch him and then deal with the other 10 guys screaming at him. So it's a, it's a deal where, you know, he can, he can catch a couple in pregame and, um, you know, it, it kind of, it, it is what it is. Who cares? I'm definitely not going to let him catch any more in the future. <laughs> <laughs> turn, turn around and kick him the other way. Hey, I was thinking about, I was thinking about starting like a real story there while I was on the sideline to like become a real media person and be like, Oh, disrespect from Tyreek Hill to Johnny Hacker before the game, just completely disrespecting everything Johnny Hacker stands for here. But it's actually a smart move by the returner, by the way. You just need your guy. That oh, absolutely. Pac-Man Jones used to try to do it. And Pac-Man and I are friends. Pac-Man used to try to do it all the time. And you just have to have your your guy that's returning for you just be like, no, 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 we got, I got it, I got it, or whatever, you know? Like, that's all. It's a very interesting right. little game because you don't want them to see what ball is coming to them. You want them to be uncomfortable because right. you could cause a turnover, by the way. So that's a big deal. But I think you're incredible, as usual. Watching you in warm-ups bomb and then in games, it's just, you're so fun to watch. You're such a freak athlete. Enjoy the hell out of that bye week, buddy. I appreciate it, Pat. You're the man. Have fun, man. Continue success. We're so happy to see you balling out for the brand and bringing awareness to what we do, man. Keep doing your thing. Hey, game-winning punt. That's a big deal, Johnny. Biggest game in regular season NFL Over. history. They had a game-winning punt in it. It's not not going to show up in the in a lot of stats as a game-winning punt, but it's all good, baby. I love it. You should. You should put it in your Twitter bio. <laughs> 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 Have a good one. Take care of that That's family. Nice you're the best. Punt. Yeah, you're the best, Johnny. All right, man. See ya. Take care. Appreciate it, guys. Yep.